Hi, everybody. Jake Slobodnik joining you once again from First Commonwealth Bank Field in Homer City on Renda Digital TV. And we're talking United Lion Track and Field. And this interview brought to you by Robindale Energy. And we start with the boys' side of things. And this is pretty special to me because this guy right here in his first year as a head coach, Matt Grata, taught me in chemistry years ago over at Central Cambria. It's weird how small this world really is. But, Coach, how excited are you to take over the Lions track program here in the first year? Well, I'm super excited, Jake, and thanks for the introduction. And, yeah, it is it is. Um, you know, special for me to come down here and see people that I've known for a long time. But um, we got a lot of expectations. You know, the program I came from was highly successful, and I moved right into one that is also highly successful in the Heritage Conference. So we're looking to maintain that. I got a lot of great athletes coming back. Um, we have a full roster, which is important. Um, you know, if you want to win a championship, you need to be strong in all the events. And we have that. So I'm super excited. Yeah, you've been around programs where uh, success really breeds, I would say, more and more people coming out to, you know, be a part of the track and field team. And that follows right here at United. So uh, I'm sure you're very thrilled to see a full roster and ready to hit the ground running with that. It absolutely does. And I'm, I'm, I mean, I consider myself being blessed to have this opportunity to work with the people that I get to work with. Um, both the athletes and my assistant coaches. So we've got a wonderful, strong program. Um, the community supports us. So it should be a great year, and we're, you know, we're going after the Heritage Conference Championship. That's what we have our, you know, our sights set on. I know we're still in the early stages of the official track season, especially with basketball still happening. But uh, you know, what have you noticed about uh, your team getting into the weight room, maybe putting in the work on the track? What are some of the big things that you noticed about how they're putting in the work to get ready? So we've had some open gyms the last couple of weeks, um, and just unofficial numbers of how many students we have, or I'm sorry, student athletes that we had come to show up. We were in the 50s to 60s um, with kids that wanted to come in and put in extra work before the season started. So the work ethic is there and it's absolutely incredible. Um, some of our great athletes are still competing. Um, we have Jojo Garshnik who's at the state meet for, um, for wrestling right now. So, um, you know, we're missing, you know, just a couple yet, but um, yeah, we're going to have a we're going to have a great season. What are some of your goals for 2024, being that it is your first se your first season? And I know winning the gold is always the biggest one, but are there any other goals that you have in mind? So specifically, I mean, hurdles is where my passion lies, and that's where I came out of. So um, we've got some great hurdlers, and um, I like to sweep teams if I can, uh, and I'm not, you know, um, trying to be arrogant about that, but that's where my passion lies. Um, but the Heritage Conference is number one, right? Um, going undefeated in the regular season, taking a Heritage Conference championship. Um, we have the United Invite here coming up. Um, it would be on, I believe, the 13th of April, and I'm going to see a lot of familiar faces. So um, a lot of familiar faces. So I'm looking forward to seeing the, you know, those athletes and those coaches and, um, and winning that. Like that's our invitational. So I want to win that. I've won that before, but not in this role. <laughs> well, Coach, best of luck this year in your first year with the United Boys track and field team. It should be a really exciting one. Thanks again, Jake. I appreciate it. It's Coach, or should I say Mr. Grata now, going <laughs> forward. But, <laughs> but hey, that's uh, Coach Grata. We'll talk to some of his uh, performers here with um, – let's start with Gage uh, – Gage Grassmeyer? Yeah. Yes, I do. There, there's Gage. There's Gage, all right. I love the do. You and Rory, you got some great sets of hair there. But uh, Thank you. Thank take you. me through some of the events that we're going to see you guys do on the track this year. Uh, I'll be competing in, like, the 100, 200, 400, and 4 by 4 maybe the 4 by 8 800, depending what coach wants to put me in. I'll, I'll go in whatever he wants me in. I know you're going to go off based off coach's recommendations. Is there a f one that you really like to do the most? I love the 400. How I've come? Been. Uh, I've been working on it since uh, freshman year. I ran a 56, 57, and uh, our old coach said I was going to be good at it. And I worked it down to like a 51, 2, 51, 3 last year at districts. What were some of the main ways that you have been getting physically and mentally ready for the 2024 track season? Uh, I've just been going to the gym, going to open gym and all that. Just, you know, running, seeing how it feels and all that. Coach Grata said it best. You guys open the season with the United Invitational. How, how awesome would it be to open the season with a win at your home Invitational? Oh, it would be amazing. Last year, I think we played second behind Central. And, you know, he coached here last year, so he ended up beating us. But hopefully this year, I feel like we can win. Hey, Gage, best of luck uh, this season, and can't wait to see what you guys do out there. Thank you. I'll have to free up my hand here. <laughs> a man of class. All right, and then we'll talk to Rory Butler here. Rory, what are some of the things that we're going to see you do on the track this year? Uh, so I'm a primarily like a middle distance runner. I've always done uh, 400s, or excuse me, 4x8s uh, and 800s most of my career. Uh, when I was younger and, junior, and like uh, 
uh, younger varsity, ninth and 10th grade, we had barely any, any boys on the varsity team. So they put me in whatever they needed me to do, one mile, two mile, everything. But now that we have so many more people coming out for the team, I've mostly narrowed to 800s and 400s now in the relays or the relay counterparts of those events. What are some ways that you've been getting in shape for the season? Uh, mostly staying in touch with the team, I'd say. And that partially comes with going to the open gym, seeing everybody multiple times a week, staying in touch with everyone. But, you know, I just like to stay in touch with all my teammates, make sure everyone's having a good time. And then when it comes to practice, I get out there and I do the work that's required. Do you have any personal goals for the 2024 season or maybe share some that maybe the team has sort of taken a liking to? I do, yeah. I uh, I would certainly like to work on my open 400s more. I'd like to get that down to maybe a 52-second 400 if I could. I ran the relays last year, and I enjoyed the event very much. I'd like to keep working that down. I'd like to get my 800 time uh, down more around to two minutes. I've uh, broken 210 a little bit in the past, but I want to get down to that more. And I think as a team overall, we, as the boys team, we uh, won the Indiana County meet last year. And I think we also have our sights set on that because we realize as a team that we haven't really missed a beat from last year. And I think, I think we can do it again. And upsetting a team that's a juggernaut in our area is something we definitely want to continue doing. Definitely. Well, hey, best of luck this season. And thanks for the time, Rory. Thank you. I forgot this hand again. Maybe I should just keep this right hand free the entire time. Let's talk to some of the members of the girls track team here. John, I'll just walk along with the camera here. And uh, we are joined by Coach Tara Alexa in her first season as the head coach of the girls team. How excited are you to take over this girls team and maybe bring home some gold to United? Oh, definitely excited. I cannot wait to get the meet started and see what we can bring. Take me through some of the culture uh, that you want to bring in to United. You know, I, obviously a winning mentality is a big thing, but, you know, what kind of culture are you trying to set here at United? Um, I definitely want to bring them in together as a team and um, kind of see where we can go. We're still a very young team. We only have one senior on the girls' side, so we're still going to be juggling some things, but looking for it to all come together. I know you got a lot of underclassmen, but overall size of your roster and makeup of it, are you impressed with how many people have come out for track this year? I definitely am. Um, that's one thing United has been always very strong with is the numbers that um, of the students that come out for it and we definitely we have a full roster plus plus some to move around when needed so it'll be it'll be good. What are some ideals or maybe uh, methodology that you're going to implement here at United here in your first season? Definitely to build them together strong as a team and just try to go forward from that and see what see what we can do. What are your goals as a coach here in 2024 as well? Um, I feel like last year for the girls was a building building year, so hopefully we can go after that heritage title. Um, I know the girls had won it a couple years in a row, so hopefully we can bring it back. Absolutely, and it's going to be an exciting one. Hey, Coach, thanks for the time. Thank you very much. Coach Alexa, <laughs> why did I forget to not free up that right hand? Oh, Thank my. You. Yep, and then I'll, we'll talk to some of the members of the girls' track team here. Uh, and uh, Peyton Steiner and Sarah Marshall Peyton. All right, we'll start with you, Peyton. So uh, what are some of the biggest things you're looking forward to here in 2024? We have some really strong freshmen and sophomores that will add to our team aspect and hopefully boost our relays like the 4x8 and the 4x4. How does that sort of help set the tone for the future of United's track program with such a heavy load of underclassmen coming in? I think they'll really be strong in the next couple years. They have a really good junior high program coming up too. There's a lot of strong 8th graders that will come up next year. All right, and some of the events that you're going to be in personally. I run the one mile and the 800 and the 4x8. I've ran the 4x4 when needed, but I don't prefer to run that. Okay. I want to talk about the mile a little bit because I feel like to the casual viewer, it's just, okay, get set and start running. But it's really not that simple, is it? There's a lot of work that goes into it, especially on the conditioning factor. So for the mile I usually start out like the first 150 like fast and then you set into a nice pace and then there's a method for the last 500 of your mile you start going faster and it's like a 200 and then you pick up speed the next 200 and then the last 100 you sprint all right well what are some of your goals for 2024 I know winning uh, gold is going to be a big one but are there any personal ones that you'd like to set I'd like to carry the 4 by 8 team as far as we can. I think we have a really good group of girls that can get it really far. Awesome. Peyton, thanks for the time. Best of luck this season on the track. Thank you. All right, and then we'll talk to Sarah Marshall here. And, uh, you know, just first before we get things started, you know, what are some of the events we're going to see in this year? I'll be in the 100 hurdles, the 300 hurdles, and the 4 by one 
What's probably the biggest uh, factor of preparation and training for a race for hurdles, not just in the short distance, the 100, but in the 300 as well? Um, it's a lot mental. You have to be confident that you're going to make it over all of them and everything like that. And you also need to build your endurance and just be prepared to go because it's a full sprint, but it's a long distance. The program is seeing a bit of a youth movement. How awesome is that to see? Because a lot of people, it just shows that there's a lot of interest for track over at United. Yeah, it's good. We have a lot of freshmen coming up and we have a lot of junior high kids that are interested in doing it. So it'll be good for the next few years. It'll carry on. Do you have any personal goals for 2024? I would like to make it to districts and hopefully see if I can get to states this year. I don't know how it would go, but we'll try. Hey, hard work and determination. I think we'll get you there, all right? Yep. Awesome. Well, hey, thanks for the time. Best of luck to all of you this year. And, Sarah, best of luck to you as well. Thanks for the time. Thank you. All right, that's the United Track Team, and uh, we appreciate everybody tuning into our coverage here from First Commonwealth Bank Field in Homer City. This interview and a lot of them, actually all of them, brought to you by Robindale. So it'll be an exciting spring sports season on the track, on the baseball diamond, and on the softball diamond as well. So be sure to tune into Renda Media and your hometown radio stations for all the coverage all season long. For the United Lions, I'm Jake Slobodnik here on Renda Digital TV.